languages cannot be learnt in a single day as we said earlier rome is not built in a single day in the same way any language any particularly foreign language cannot be learnt in a single day or single night or single month so it's a gradual process slow process you can't see the difference quite often so we have to be very patient we have to keep on striking so we have to practice speaking okay there are so many steps how to speak how to practice speaking my suggestion is to make a partner of speaker speaker partner language speaking partner it may be your friend your family member or your fellow teacher or fellow employee so pick up such person and start practicing start speaking practice over phone or directly or any other way just like skype in skype just as we are doing right now okay so your practice will always make you perfect my advice is we have to run to win this competition if we are not able to run at least we have to walk okay if we are not able to even walk we must at least crawl but we have to move from the place where we are to other place to the different place in the same way just start speaking with your partner or with your friend or with your family member you must do this activity at least 10 minutes a day you will definitely observe a great change after a week or one month or two or three months according to your capacity of speaking this is my first advice sir sir do you follow this method did you follow this method or not what is your experience just reflect yes yes yes, yes i have been i have been following the same method and uh, a proper practice is essential so actually yes. practice makes me perfect but a proper practice makes me a, a super perfect so that season a yes. uh, practice should be in a proper way and a productive way possible way feasible way and uh, towards the perfection okay first of all practice then perfection will follow you know so i have to believe that and it's in that we should be very confident so whether it is right or wrong you have to keep on practicing you have to keep on moving forward you have to push forward ourselves whether you are walk whether you run whether you walk whether you crawl whether you creep whatever whatever you do so your focus yeah. always progress and forward you yeah. know have to push forward we have to push yeah. ourselves forward something you know yeah the second thing i want to share with you is we have to listen to the native speakers okay sir unless we listen to the native speaker we won't learn the language in the way that is intended to be for example when we speak together within our group within our local friends our lang language may not be pick up a proper path there might be so many deviations when compared to the original quality of english okay to cope up with such quality of english yeah. we have to listen to the native speakers but how do we get native speakers native speakers almost are there in the foreign countries or in mega cities metro cities in a small towns like us like ichapuram palasa srikakulam we can't find proper native speakers then how can we find native speakers there are a lot of methods okay then we can use our internet facility our phone or on tv or on computer or on any platform we can access to lot of content where we can hear to the native speakers then we have to start imitating them okay this imitation will help you a lot to make your language towards the original way okay sir there are so many podcasts yes. podcasts so many so many uh, tv programs and so many video content in youtube or any so many other platforms we have to imitate the native speakers okay we have to pick up a native speaker so many native speakers are not just audible to us we can't cope up with their languages just we have to pick up a person who is very compatible with our learning who is who suits our needs then after he is saying we have to listen to him clearly and we have to repeat the things in this way 
our invitation to any native speaker will definitely make a big change. Over the time, we be gradually drift towards the original quality of English, sir. This is my experience. And what do you think? What do you think about this, sir? Is this a working example or not? Does it work or not? Yes, sir. What you have given your experience is very apt because the same. Because like what people always think like same, you know, because I too think the same what you have told, you know, and I do follow. I have been following the same method and uh, to be a good uh, uh, perfect speaker, to be a good communicator. I've been following the same steps. What have you been uh, just uh, talking over? Yeah. Keep on yes, moving, sir. sir. Yeah. Sir, my another step, my another, you know, uh, it's like a tip. We have to keep on expanding our vocabulary, sir. Whatever we have learned up to intermediate or degree is not, you know, uh, all. Uh, it, it does not make all the things we want to when we are going to speak in English. This vocabulary is, may not be enough, sir. We must ju uh, just, we have to pick up the latest words spoken words and so many other spoken uh, useful words from different uh, media or different books or anything we have to pick up the vocabulary which is needed for spoken skills sir. but when we spoke we can't get those from our think tank okay we have to pick up the vocabulary very useful for the spoken communication sir so to expand this vocabulary, we must go through so many different things, newspapers, storybooks, even our textbooks, there is a lot of vocabulary. And also, when we are enough, we, we just got enough to spoken skills, to improve our spoken skills, then we, we go to the next step. But we go through the different vocabulary, which enriches our language, just like phrasal verbs, idioms and phrases, and later on, our vocabulary may be go to the next step, okay? But before that, we must have to possess minimum some vocabulary in our think tank so that we can able to communicate with each other so comfortably like that, sir. That's my opinion. So I need you to respond about this. How to improve our vocabulary? What is your tips? What do you think about this? Yes, sir. The word for is word for. Without words, we can't convey, we can't express, we, uh, we can't express our opinion, feeling, and our ideology, yes. our ideas. So, proper vocabulary is very essential to express ourselves. That's what we have learned from the different, different sources, from reading, from listening, from watching. We have to use, we have to try to make use of in our day to day walk of life. By usage only, one can learn, one can master the words. So merely cramming information, merely learning words from the dictionary, writing down the uh, notes, it doesn't help, you know, because the more you use in our day-to-day -day work of life, it will help and it will effectively, it will help to our uh, uh, communication and conversation so that one has to learn how to use way to use in a proper way so that and, uh, one can be expert in language here. Yeah. Proper usage yes. of words is very important. Yes, sir. No, it's my sir. opinion, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You're, I completely agree with you, sir. And the next tip I want to share you is uh, reading aloud. Just like the children, the little kids, when they start reading, they read aloud. But we have avoided it uh, years back because it is not a complete comfortable to us. We learn the spoken skills. Reading aloud also help you, sir. Because while you read, the lot of sentence structures will automatically restore it in your mind. So lot of sentence structures will be able to uh, enhance your spoken skills, sir. So reading aloud uh, different stories or different uh, sentence patterns definitely will make you uh, so speak your language easily, smoothly. So reading aloud, this makes you uh, better in your spoken skills, sir. This is one tip. And the next tip I want to share you is uh, just we have to uh, be patient about the language spoken. It, it needs a lot of time to realize you that you are speaking well. OK, slowly, 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 you gain the capacity, you gain the uh, speed and uh, such coordination 
so that you can speak well and communicate your feelings, your ideas to your, the person opposite you. So uh, this slow drift is uh, definitely 100% everyone can see in their lives when they practice such things in it uh, for at least 10 minutes a day. And they use the content, media, newspapers, and library books. Even though uh, blog spots are there, podcasts are there, we have to use the technology. We have to always try to enhance our language skills. And I think your channel viewers and our friends definitely find it helpful to improve their spoken skills, sir. Being a uh, teachers of English language, we are giving we are suggesting we are uh, uh, just uh, focusing some important uh, tips and tricks regarding how to be a good communicator, how to be a fluent speaker. So, so far the viewers are getting some information. So, merely getting information doesn't help. So, implementation is very, very important. Those who want to be a, a good communicator, those who want to be a great speaker, one has to implement those all the steps what we have been discussing uh, for the last. Uh, uh, one and a month, you know, and uh, in our previous videos also, we have uh, talked with uh, a beautiful, important uh, steps how to be a fluent speaker. And if they follow, if they implement in their day to day work of life, so anyone can become a good speaker, a great communicator, and a fluent uh, elocutor. So that's the reason viewers will follow our tips and steps, uh, steps to be a great speaker. Uh, thank you, Zinro sir, for coming to my live session. and. Uh, uh, suggesting a, a so great. So many friends of us are uh, feeling that whether they can speak or well or not. So many friends are hesitating to speak in English. And my suggestion is, once you just step in and speak with Govind sir in this program, okay? If you do a single video, it may be published or not. It is a different matter. But if you try to speak over phone through this Skype or through this video call, definitely you will get the confidence that yes, I can also speak in English. That's my suggestion to all the friends, all our friends who are hesitating to speak in English. Okay, sir. Thank you coming to my live session and uh, suggesting a great uh, steps to be a good a fluid speaker and a great communicator. Thank you, sir. Senor, sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you.